Hello Endkeepers! Welcome to another Ants Canada video. The best part of the ant keeping experience, in my opinion, is catching a queen ant during nuptial flight and caring for her as she produces her own thriving ant colony. The bond you form with a pet ant colony that you have raised from just its originating queen is unlike any other. In North America and Europe, it's now springtime and the beginning of ant season. Awesome! So many of you have begun to write to us asking when the best months are to look for queen ants. So this is a special video tutorial. We will break down for you the nuptial flight schedules of some of the most common ant species for North America, Europe, Australia, and Southeast Asia. Okay, so before I go into the schedules, let's go over the 10 things you need to know when hunting for queen ants during nuptial flights. 1. You can look for queens at all times of the day. I prefer looking in the afternoons, but you can literally find queen ants wandering from dusk till dawn. And you can find queen elates in the night. What's especially helpful is if you have a black light. This tends to attract some queen ants. 2. You never know where you'll find a queen ant. So always have snap cap vials with you on hand every time you leave the house. It also helps to carry a business card or a playing card that you can slip underneath a queen ant when you've trapped her under your vial or bottle. 3. When you catch your queen ants, do not mix them, as they may fight and if they're a formic acid sprayer, then they may formic acid spray each other to death. And in an enclosed space, like in a snap cap vial or bottle, this can be disastrous. 4. When you test tube the queens, test tube them separately, even if they're known to be polygynous. Polygyny happens in the wild, but for whatever reason, in captivity, they usually go as far as pleometrosis only, where they raise their brood cooperatively, and then they end up fighting to death, leading to one or all queens dying. 5. Be sure to catch the queen ants even if they still have their wings. Wings are not the best indicator that a queen ant has mated prior to her capture. Sometimes the queens will break off their wings inside the test tube, or they keep their wings on entirely throughout the process of colony founding. 6. Always get formal permission if you are collecting on private property, or secure the necessary permits if collecting on government or public property. 7. The best time to go looking for queen alates are the day or two after a rainstorm and during warm humid days. Also, you'll have a better chance of spotting queen ants in the countryside, suburbs, or fielded areas. 8. Do not catch a queen alate inside or in the immediate area of her nest. If you happen to see an ant nest with queen and male alates boiling out from the entrances, do not catch those queens. Instead, walk a block away in any direction and search there. The reason is because ants generally fly and mate away from their origin nest. This is nature's way of helping mix the gene pool up, and it keeps sibling elates from mating with each other. 9. Feel free to collect as many queen ants as you like, as not all of the queens will make it to the worker stage, but don't go overboard. I also highly suggest you join our GAN project if you have more ant colonies than you can handle, and we can help find aspiring ant keepers in your area to buy these colonies off you. Or we can find people to whom you can give them away. It helps promote the ant-keeping hobby in your region and helps make you some extra cash doing what you love. For more information on buying and selling ants through our GAN project, visit our website and click on Queen Ants for Sale. And finally, 10. If you can't find a queen ant right away, don't lose hope. If you see ants crawling around in your area, then you can be sure that there are definitely queen elates flying at some point of the year. With persistence, you will eventually find a queen ant, and most beginners actually end up finding at least two or three in their first year. Okay, so let's start with nuptial flight schedules for common ants in North America. North America! The first ants to fly in the year all across North America are Prenolepis imparis, also known as winter ants. Look out for them from February to April. They are elusive, and there's usually a small window of opportunity each year to find them. When you do, you're lucky. They will even fly when there's frost on the ground, hence their name. Next, look out for carpenter ants, known scientifically as Campanotis ants. Campanotis ants can be caught from April to July, with the bulk of them flying in May. The queens are easy to spot due to their size, and they make great pets. Remember that Campanotis ants take a long time to mature, so it takes about two months minimum for an egg to develop into a worker. One of my favorite ants to keep in North America is Campanotis noviboricensis. You can check out some of our Campanotis noviboricensis videos on this channel. Then look out for Tetramorium species E, another awesome beginner species. 
Now these small and easy to care for and fast growing species of ants fly from May to July, with the bulk of them flying in June. The nuptial flights happen in early morning from 4 to 6 a.m., but I do recommend looking for them in the afternoon when they have already made it and are out looking for suitable places to start a nest. Next, the month of July is Formica month. You can find Formica fusca and the larger Formica subsericia queens throughout July. The elusive chromatogaster queens with their heart-shaped gasters can be found from August to September. This is a very sought-after genus, so if you happen to find them, good on ya! Finally, Laceous ants fly from July to October, with the bulk of them flying from late August to early September. Look out for Laceous neoniger, the Labor Day ant, named after the fact that they fly around Labor Day. These ants are great pets and have a lot of energy. Now all of these ants mentioned are my favorite and I do recommend them for beginners. And in my experience, based on you guys writing in to us, they are the most commonly kept in North America as well. Other ants to look out for depending on where in North America you live are Tapanoma Cecile in May to June. If you're lucky enough to live in Texas, Louisiana, or Northeastern Mexico, you can find Ada Texana in May. Those are fungus growers. Next, look out for Solenopsis species, also known as fire ants, from April to July. Pogonomermex species, also known as harvester ants, fly from June to July. From June to August, you can also find Fedoli ants, which are very polymorphic ants, with really tiny workers to very big super majors. From June to September, you can find Temnothorax curvispinosis, also known as acorn ants. They literally create colonies in acorns. And in September, look out for Aphenogaster. Now, if you want a challenge and want to try keeping semi-claustral species, Ponera and Myrmica ants fly later in the year, usually right before it gets kind of chilly, anywhere between August and November. Now, moving on to Europe. Yeah. Now, I've never been to Europe, so I had to do my research on this, and I'd like to give credit to Hugo Daras, Wes Featon, Simon Theodore Svensson, and Lamarabunta.org. Now, Europe has a pretty diverse range of climates, and therefore, ant nuptial flight schedules. But here are some of the main nuptial flight schedules for the most common ant species. The queens of Messer ants, which are sort of a type of harvester ant, can be found from April to May and September to October, depending on the species and your region. Look out for various species of Campanotis ants from April to August, with the bulk of them happening somewhere in the middle. Tetramorium caispidum, the European and Asian relative of Tetramorium species E in North America, also fly from May to July. Next, look out for Laceous niger, the golden retrievers of the ant world. Queens of Laceous niger can be found flying anywhere from July to August throughout Europe. Around two to three weeks after Laceous niger fly, you'll find Formica ants flying. So look out for those queens from July to September but also into October, depending on where in Europe you live. Finally, chromatogaster ants fly from July to October, with the bulk of them flying in September and October. Let's move on to Australia. Australia. For this, I'd like to credit Jordan Dean from the YouTube channel Ants Australia. Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere, so their seasons are backwards from that of North America and Europe. For those of you in Australia, be sure to look out for Iridomermic species that fly in the spring, from September to November. Then look out for Campanata species in the summer, which fly from December to February. Finally, look out for Fedoli queens in autumn, which fly from March to May. Now let's move on to Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia. I currently live in the Philippines and finding Queen Alates has been a bit interesting. Much of Southeast Asia have similar climates and the general rule is you will find queen ants year-round, but mostly at the beginning of the rainy season, the summer, and if different from the summer, at the start of the dry season. However, the bulk of Queen Alates can be found at the beginning of rainy season. For those of you in Southeast Asia, be sure to look out for queens of Ecophila smaragdina, the world-famous weaver ants. These can be found at the beginning of the rainy season, usually around May to July. Also from May to July, you'll find Phaedologetan diversus, recently renamed Carabera diversus. These ants are notoriously difficult to keep alive in captivity, but if you're successful, you're lucky. Next, you can find queens of the famous, or should I say, infamous, Solenopsis geminata. Now these ants fly year-round, but look particularly at the start of rainy season, around March and May, and also during the cooler months of November to January. Queens of Campanotis ants fly year-round, but mostly towards the end of the year. For those of you lucky enough to be in Sumatra, Singapore, Malaysia, 
Borneo, and Thailand, I hope you can find Campanotus gigas, recently renamed Dinomyrmex gigas, and it's one of the largest ants in existence, with queens measuring up to just under 2 inches long. Finally, be sure to look out for queens of Parachuchina longicornis, also known as black crazy ants. Now these ants also fly year-round, but you can find them most at the start of the summer. And that's it! Sorry I couldn't include other regions like Africa, South America, Middle East, other parts of Asia, and the Pacific Islands as the information out there seems to be either scarce or conflicting. But if you're an ant keeper from any of these places, please do leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what ants to expect and when they have their nuptial flights. Also keep in mind that these dates are not absolute and the schedules can vary depending on region and climate of the year. As a side note, Throughout all of my years of ant keeping, I've noticed that with climate change impacting us more and more, the nuptial flight schedules of familiar ants are starting to show high degrees of change as each year rolls in. So let's always remember guys to do our part to protect the planet and to keep the earth as stable as we can. Ant keeping is a wonderful hobby that takes patience and love. And with the right tools and knowledge, you'll eventually grow the ant colony of your dreams. It's a great journey of discovery. Remember guys to visit AntsCanada.com if you need any ant keeping gear. We ship worldwide and our products are designed for a variety of different ant species. If you don't know what you need, just email us at info at AntsCanada.com. And remember if you have any young or old ant colonies you would like to sell or give away, please join our GAN project. Everyone is invited, it's totally free, totally risk free, easy to sign up and it will help other ant keepers in your region keep ants too. So many people around the world are emailing us asking where they can get an ant colony and maybe you can be the one to help them, as well as make some extra money in return. For several years now, we've been able to connect thousands of ant keepers all around the world. So please consider the GAN project. Thanks again for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Happy anting and good luck on catching those queens. Ant love forever! Thank you guys so much for watching our new video and tutorial on nuptial flights. Wishing you all the best of luck this year on catching your queen ants. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you liked what you saw. And check out some of the other videos on our ant channel. Visit us at antscanada.com. We've got tons of information there, lots of ant keeping products, and an awesome ant forum which can help you connect to ant keepers from all over the world. Come join us. See ya!